Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome back to the Fairly Odd Parents. Enter the Cleft is the name of this game. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't actually remember. Something, something, Crimson. Oh, right, right. We, we just went back home. Okay. So, yeah, at the end of the last part, the villains had taken over, or they, they've come to Dimsdale to take over to the real world. Mom, Dad, what are you doing? Did you forget what day today is? Today is Country Boy's birthday. Timmy, look at this history book. Oh no, Country Boy must have escaped into the past. And changed history. See, I told you guys that this is a common thread amongst time travel stories. Um, the, the Spongebob episode is not the first to do this by any stretch. We must go there and find him. How can we go there? Well, gee, may maybe with like magic... Oh, I, I was going to say, maybe like your magical fairies could take you, but um, that's right. They do have the time travel scooter. We can use this to travel through time. All right, let's go capture Country Boy and send him back to the comic book world. Okay, so now we're going to be in the real world. Oh, interesting, interesting. So it's, I mean, makes sense that it's no longer comic booky. Fair enough. All right. Still have same powers, it looks like. Oh, God. What are you doing out here, Vicky? <laughs> like, we're, we're just, like, in the middle of the desert. And Vicky's still got to be here to harass us. Fair enough. Fairy enough. I guess I start off with reset wand counters and stuff because, uh... When you enter the password system, it doesn't really remember stuff like that. It just remembers what you've unlocked, really. Unfortunately. Ooh, Chompy! I remember Chompy. Wait, can I... Is he... Is he... Oh, he just follows me and he attacks enemies. Okay. And that's Franci Francis there. And more cave Vicky. Chompy, are you coming? Like, can I not ride him? I, I was kind of hoping that he'd be... Right? Rideable? No, I guess not. Okay. I guess he was just there to kill enemies. And then they respawned. Ugh, get away from me, Vicky clone. Hmm. Yeah, I remember Chompy. He's the mayor's pet. Goat. <laughs> Everyone loved more than the mayor, I guess. There's a lot of weird memorable things about the Fairly Odd Parents. The Time Scooter actually is from the episode that... Oof. Um, it's from the episode that, that the meme comes from. The This is where my trophy would go. If I had one! Actually, wait. Is that that episode? Mm, maybe. Hmm. I think that was the episode, though, that they, they really cemented in that joke of how Timmy's parents are just called mom and dad to everyone. <laughs> like, yeah, I have a name, but you could, everyone just calls me mom. Which, when you think about it, is a really messed up thing to call a ten-year-old. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But I guess it was a simpler time back then. <laughs> so I guess we're like... Maybe each world, each of the next few worlds is going to be based upon one villain. Because we're, we're after Barn Boy. Maybe. Barn a coal boy? <laughs> how many, um... How many Nicktoons had, like, superhero characters? Oh, yeah, I don't have any items either, because that reset. There was, um... I mean, there's Murray Man, Barnacle Boy, and Spongebob. There's the Crimson Chin and Catman. On the Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, the Angry Beavers had Muscular Beaver. Uh, what other Nicktoons? F did Fanboy. Uh, not that I really want to mention Fanboy and Chum Chum, but did were they heroes or. No, they weren't heroes. I think they had alter egos as heroes or something. The less I can remember about that show, probably the better. Uh, I'm trying to think of other examples. Were there heroes on. Well, not on Hey Arnold. Mm, Doug had Quail Man. That's true. Still invincible. Ooh, God, there's a lot of dogs out here. So it's like a pretty recurring theme amongst Nicktoons, really. And it's cool. I, I like that. I mean, it's a lot of shows are about uh, kind of relating to kids and stuff, and every kid wishes that they knew superheroes, you know? <laughs> That'd be really cool. Excuse me. You die now, Snake. 
I keep thinking that snake is like Wanda in disguise. Why are there dogs? What, what is this dog doing in this tree? Huh? <laughs> Alright. wonder if 2D's in this game. I mean, since Vicky's an enemy, it would make sense. I can't shoot while on the vine, so... Speaking of vine, I actually saw a video the other day. A YouTube video describing, like, the rise and fall of vine. It was interesting, because I didn't really know anything about vine. I just knew that they were short videos that... Like, six-second videos that people really liked, and then they went under. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Let's buy the gyro. Apparently, the reason why Vine went under was because it was it was owned by Twitter, but they couldn't find a way to make it profitable, really. Because when you have only... When the content is, like, six seconds long... It might be seven seconds, but y you get the idea. When, when the content's only seconds long, you can't really put ads in there. Like, I'm, I'm okay with watching a five second ad for like a 10 minute or a 20 minute or 30 minute YouTube video like I don't have a problem with that and others don't either but like I'm not watching a five second ad for like a five second video that's just that's just silly let's see Wanda I've been trying to find country boy but my magic doesn't seem to work mine doesn't either uh oh so here comes the explanation for why we can't just use magic there must be something interfering with it. You see, Barn Boy loves the world to not have magic in it so much, so they can't unwish that. <laughs> Cosmo Wanda, look what I found. Now I understand. Our powers won't work because of this. We have to find and destroy all of them. Well, what is it? Otherwise, we can't find Country Boy. But what is it? <laughs> Since your magic doesn't seem to work, I will find and destroy them myself. I mean, here's the thing. Okay, so they get... As we clear them... The worlds get grayed out there. That's, that's... I didn't even really notice that the first time. But, there we go. Um, but, yeah, you know, Cosmo and Wanda, you still have, like, wings. And, um, you can, you can fly. You can also uh, t shape shift and stuff. Like, there's plenty of useful things that you can still do with or without magic. Just throwing that out there. In fact, all of this platforming stuff would be a lot easier for you guys because you could fly. <laughs> just, just... Again, throwing that out there. What are you doing, Snake? <laughs> Oops. You know, some games some games are good about vines and some aren't. Uh, like, some games make it easy to jump on and off them and some don't. To be fair, though, I probably should have just used my propeller. And do I get to keep it? Or is it gone because we used to continue? Uh, nope, I get to keep it. Sweet. Take that, level. <laughs> Take... Oh! What? <laughs> Man, when did... When did Vicky learn jujitsu? Right? C Snake, you gotta... Alright, fine. Oh, come... Mm. <laughs> uh, gotta know when to jump. Know when to jump, know when to wait. Know when to reset the game. <laughs> God, get away from me, Vicky. It's just, it just, oh, what? It like knocks me back too, and I, huh. Yeah, that's a little annoying. Oh, okay, I don't need the vines, I can just jump. I probably need the vines. No, no, I can just do a long jump, okay. That's good to know. You know, I'm alternating between using my joystick and the D-pad on this GameCube controller I'm using. I should probably just use the D-pad. That would be a lot smarter. But the D-pad's not... I mean, it's not a bad D-pad. It's a perfectly fine D-pad. I didn't want to jump on there, but... Yeah, sure. It's a perfectly fine D-pad. It's just not a very big one. It's a, it's big, although, those are very big Bs on that subject. Oh! Hmm. Crud. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like D-pads are more precise, but joysticks are more comfortable. I mean, D-pads are more precise in this kind of game, but D-pad is more comfortable. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, the, the double tap to run can be a little weird. Overall, though, this game seems to be, like, perfectly fine. I think, I mean, it's just like, there's just kind of like a, a lot of this this sort of game out there, you know? The, the, the kind of 2D action platformer. So... I'm not going to say that it stands out or is great in any way, but if this is your sort of thing, then yeah, you, you're not going to be disappointed with this game. I don't think. Oh, why does water hurt me? I shoot water. 
Get away. Hey. No. I don't even remember the name of Vicky's dog. It's like probably Spot or something. <laughs> I feel like Barn Boy like explicitly cloned all all the people that Timmy hates. Although no, there's no Crocker here. I'd be very surprised if Crocker wasn't in the game though. Although maybe he isn't actually. I don't know. But if Francis is in it as an enemy and Vicky's in it as an enemy, you would think. Man, I'm not playing too well. It has been like a day or two since I played this. I know, right? A whole day. So now my my uh, skill level gets reset to zero just because I didn't play it yesterday. Like, ooh, good excuse there, Pie Guy. <laughs> All right. Ow. Okay. So if the magic's gone, how can they make Timmy cleft at the beginning of every level, huh? Answer me that, fairly odd parents. It was Plankton's robots. <laughs> oh god, well, I forgot. I can actually look up and down, and I should definitely do so in, in areas like this. Okay, good to know. It looks... Oh, what? I was on the platform there. Where's this gonna put me? Ah, crud. Yeah, if you're not interested in seeing, like, failures and, and repeats and stuff, you might want to skip uh, this this series. And you might want to skip any Game Boy Advance series I do, just because I'm not the best at this sort of game. But, I mean, it's like it's the sort of thing where I allow myself, like, a few failures, and if I fail too many times, I do, I do cut it out. I have, but it, not very often. It's basically like if I fail and I kind of just, like, run out of things to say... Or if it's taking me just way too long on one thing, I'll cut it, but... Or I'll... Yeah, I won't cut it. I'll cut out some of the failures, basically. You still see the successful run. Ah, <laughs> we didn't go back that far, to be honest. It just felt like a long ways because I had died a lot. With all these vines and stuff, it definitely reminds me of, like, a low-budget Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> Alright, there's some health over to the left and a power-up. Well, if I can live long enough. No, 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 no. Okay. Whew. Was I fast there? Yeah. I just double tap. I wasn't sure if I had I double tapped or if I was just like, oh god, magically uh, faster just by holding this to the side. I think there's something down there, but honestly, it's not worth it. Remember that episode where Vicky, like, jujitsu ju chopped Timmy? Actually, it probably is an episode. And these, uh, gerbils or ferrets. No, they're not ferrets. These gerbil things definitely remind me of Timmy's zombified one. Or was it a hamster? Something like that. I've only got 18 wands. So no dice there. No cliff there. Uh, okay. Ooh, all right, this is interesting. This is very, uh, oh, pfft. I failed to make it on both. Very Super Mario worldy. Well, I guess it's just Super Mario Bros. in general. Let's just forget about it. Oh, God. Whoa. All right, get away from me, bees. Not the bees. Oh, what? No, uh, ah, crud. No, <laughs> I could have probably made it to the vine. Darn it. All right, don't screw up this time. a little oh god Ooh, bees no no, no. I, oh, what 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 oh yeah get away from me bees where's the okay now where's the no oh my god wait no oh my okay to be fair i couldn't see where the where the log was and by the time it takes like to look down or up in this game timmy's got to crouch or or like you know hold up and then it takes a second. I mean, it doesn't happen right now because there's nothing underneath us. But it's not an instant thing, so I couldn't... In the time it would have taken me to crouch and, like, seen where it is, it's already, like, gone. <laughs> so that's a little annoying. I guess I just gotta kind of trust my own judgment on that one. I don't know why I'm back to grabbing the vines here, but... 
We'll give it another few tries before I cut ahead. Or I cut to the successful run. Let's just say that this is going to be the successful run, huh? It's kind of weird sometimes, like, b between Let's Player and, and Viewer, where, like... Oh, gosh. If I say I'm going to cut ahead unless I fail, then then you guys know... Uh, then you guys know that I'm, I'm gonna succeed, like, if, if you don't see me cutting ahead. But I don't know that, you know? <laughs> Time is weird, yo. I do think about that sometimes, like... I, I mean, assuming there's no great purge of YouTube, which, in all likelihood, let's be real, in, like, 50 years, they, they, they're gonna have to have purged something, like... Even if it's just, like, videos with under 300 views or something. Um... You know, are people going to be watching my videos in, like, 50 years? Well, probably not, actually, because people probably won't really care too much about some of the subjects I cover. Well, I mean, I don't know. In 50 years, Sponge ugh, SpongeBob will probably still be running, and people will st will be like, Well, what, what, did, what did some random guy think about uh, Season 7? <laughs> so, I guess there will always be a market for that. I don't know. I'm sure it'll also be interesting. So we didn't go this way. We went up. Oh, good. An extra life. Thank God. We needed that. Good to know that that's here. Um, oh, God. I think sometimes he does start running if you just hold to the side. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I wonder, like, it'll be kind of cool to look back and see, like, oh, what did what did you think of this Steven Universe while it was airing as opposed to, like, after the fact? Or, like, oh, man, all these videos you made before you knew that, like, Lapis gets shattered and Pink Diamond was actually Rose the whole time and Lars... I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, it's, uh, it'll be interesting. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh, good. I can climb down from the top. Good to know. Die, you stupid gerbil. Uh, I only have 20 wands. Yeah, no, I don't think. Can I buy anything? Oh. Megaphone. And a Skateboard, but I don't want the skateboard. Uh, the megaphone's pretty good, though. Give me the wand. A deep, deep down. Give me the wand. Hero I'll be. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, that's from, I think, Fairy Idol. Where, uh, Norm the Genie is another villain on the show that I forgot about. Although that that song for some reason will always be like with me. It's just always in my in my dreams and my nightmares. Okay, it's under me. Oh god, yep. Okay, and we gotta make that. Oh, I thought he was gonna run and jump at me. Uh alright. Oh, whew, that was close. Also, Timmy's actually relatively big compared to Francis. Is it Francis? Oh crud, no 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 no. Man, this is quite the sticker brush symphony we're listening to. You get it? It's a Donkey Kong Country song. And there were sticker brushes here. And there's music in this game. Alright, listen, all the commentary can't be great, okay? Sometimes it's gotta suck. <laughs> I can't always be funny all the time. I, actually, I don't think I could be funny any of the time. Yeah, here's today's question. Today's poll question is, uh, do you think I'm funny in any way? I don't know, I don't... Sometimes I feel like I'm funny, sometimes I feel like I'm just, like, painfully not. Not sure. And in my reviews, like, I, I don't, I wouldn't classify myself as, like, a, a comedy reviewer. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not, like, a uh, nostalgia critic or, or even, I don't know, like, uh, Rebel Taxi cracks a lot of jokes in his videos, I think. You know, I, I'd consider myself more straight-laced, but, like... I do still have jokes in, in my videos and whenever, but it's more like, it's it's more like whenever I just come, come up with something to say, you know, like if I have some clever wordplay in my head, rather than like trying to be like, to force it, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm like, oh man, I, I made five minutes of this review and I haven't told the joke yet. I, I don't like think like that, you know? Um, and I'm definitely not looking down on the people who do it. God, it's great if you can be informative and funny at the same time. God. I just try to be more, um, I just try to, try to never, you know, never let any jokes or anything get in the way of my real opinion. Because I want people to, to, to be able to trust that what I say is my opinion, not just, like, 
you know, the sake of a joke or whatever. And if it is a joke, I, I typically make it very obvious, like the the bakery-based humor and the, the pie love and stuff. Uh, we're 30. Baseball bat's not really that good. No, we'll just save our money. Our, our wands. Ugh, Vicky, get a comb. Your hair's just all over the place. <laughs> Ooh, crud. Are those one hit, or did I just only have one health? Hmm. No, I don't want anything. No, thank you. I do not want what you are selling, you strange mice. I wonder, like... I don't know. I try to imagine the Fairly Odd Parents in real life. I, I know I don't really have to do that because there were those live action movies. You know, I'm kind of surprised it's taken me this long to even mention them. Well, no, I think I referenced. Yeah, I did reference that 2D grows up to become some hot girl. Uh, Daniela Monet or something. But I didn't really reference those live action movies too much in the Breaking the Rules Let's Play. Is it, Wait, is this the way back? Did I. Am I going. I think I'm going backwards here. Crud. Uh, what was my point with all this? I had a point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to imagine, like, Cosmo and Wanda always disguise themselves as, like, pink and green things. Like, like if if that was real, like, just imagining, like, pink and green mice just, like, lying, like, sitting next to this, this ten-year-old kid that's talking to them. Uh, I don't know what I would think, really. Like, oh, man, this kid is, like, dying animals in weird colors, we should probably get him some help, and he's talking to them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with talking to your pets, but it's just... I don't know. You know, there's, there's a line. You, you want to make it clear you're talking to your pets, and not like you think you're talking to people. Alright. And... Oh. I missed the last jump. Oh, no. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I failed you. <laughs> so someone in the comments pointed out the Crimson Chin's full name is Charles Hampton Indigo. There was a time at which I would remember that, but that time has long since passed. When I was a kid, if you can believe it, I was like an encyclopedia on Nickelodeon Cartoon Network shows. I really was. I mean, now I am, like, a little bit, like, too, compared to just, like, an average an average person that no one understands. Like, I, I, I do know a decent amount about Nicktoons and, and, and Cartoon Network shows, but I am not, as, as you know from my various live streams and uh, Let's Plays and stuff, I'm not... I don't watch enough cartoons right now. I, I don't... Ha like, when I was a kid, I just, like, pfft, nonstop would watch cartoons. Um... Like I just—I don't know why—I don't know how I did it. I had like an end, endless tolerance for reruns. I, I don't now. Not that I never watch reruns, but I, I wouldn't, you know, just just I, I must have watched so much SpongeBob and Rugrats and Hey Arnold and stuff growing up. A anyway, my my point being, um, I I don't have like that super encyclopedic memory that some people do, and I think the people that know that stuff are like it's it's really cool to be able to just. Oh god, withdraw that information at a, at a moment's notice, but... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I, I was that kid. I mean, if, it's not really that much of a surprise, right? Like, that I liked cartoons a lot as a kid. I remember when the, the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, like, when, when that was coming out, the, f the first thing I ever saw of that was in a Nick Mag. They had an ad for it, and... It was just, it was just like a, a thing showing, I think it was like Timmy in 3D and, and Jimmy in 2D, and it was like, it's coming, the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour or whatever. And I remember actually like ripping that out of my Nick magazine and like bringing it into school. I was that dorky. Ugh. And of course my friend, my, my, I was like, dude, this is happening. And my friend was like, okay, cool. Like, I was like, no, you don't understand. Like, this is the greatest thing to ever happen in the history of the world. And... He was nice about it, because he was a good friend. But he definitely didn't care as much as I did. <laughs> uh, I do kind of wonder if, like, I would watch more cartoons now. or I'm, Not that I don't watch cartoons, but 
but I, I do wonder if I would watch a lot more cartoons if I had people around me that watched cartoons, because I really don't. My friends really aren't that interested, unfortunately. Um, I have you guys, of course, and I do chat with you guys sometimes on Twitter or in comments or whatever, but in general, it does kind of suck not to have too many people in real life to, to just kind of shoot the breeze about uh, just random episodes and stuff. Of course, I do when I can, when I discover someone really likes certain shows. All right. This level looks a little different. Very purple. I dig it. If you didn't know, purple is my, my favorite color. I'm sure I've mentioned that. Oh, wow, look at... <laughs> that's this derpy-looking pig. Uh, this guy, uh... Billy... Billy Farn... Billy, Billy Farnsworth. No. Uh, farm Boy, or whatever his name is. I don't know why I can never remember it, but... I think it's farm boy. Anyway, he reminds me of ooh. He reminds me of the bar. Now we're like definitely in in Mario territory right here. <laughs> uh, Bowser's castle, right? Uh, but yeah, he definitely reminds me of the barn from Adventure Time. Or Finn and Jake just go fight this this like ultimate fighter, and it's just it's just a barn with like really long legs and like a neck coming out of the barn. <laughs> it was weird. Uh, oh, alternate paths. Right row. This is definitely Mario. Oh god. Oh, it's auto control. Oh, okay, we're already here. Well, you manage to find me. Why don't you just go back to the comic world? What a smug boy you are. I'll punish you. Alright. Ooh, boss battle. Okay, I do have Oh god. Okay. I I do have this and I should use it. Oh god. Maybe not. How do I I must have to get up on the ladder really fast. Huh. Pfft, he just steps on Timmy. Interesting. I gotta... Well, it's not a very long... I can't really complain. I was gonna say, oh, we gotta sit through all this, but... I mean, it's like four lines of dialogue. It's not too bad. I can't... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just defeat him when he's, like, off screen here. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> yeah. Go stage clear. That's that's my official name for a cleft in this game. Stage clear. <laughs> nice. Now, send Country Boy back to the comic world. Ooh, I'm done for. We saved history. Man, that happens a lot in the Fairly Odd Parents, I guess. Cosmo, Wanda, I wish we could go home. Has everything really turned back to normal? Yeah, I don't think so. Dad, Mom, do, do you know Country Boy? Who is that? Mission complete. Uh, mission accomplished. One down, two more to go. All right, guys. I'll uh, get this password up on here, but we completed another world, so I'm probably going to end things off right about here. A little shorter than usual, but I think doing one world per video would be good. I think there's about, um, I think there's about five worlds. Oh, looks like we get to go to the school in this one. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and with that, Pie Guy Rules, out.